Hello and welcome to the Catfish Farm Enterprise. Now, do you know how many bags of feed that will be needed to take 1,000 juveniles from where you stock them in your pond to the table size, which is the 1 kg size? In this video, I'm going to give you the breakdown on the number of bags you'll be needing to take the juvenile to the table size before you harvest within the 3 to 4 months duration. For everyone that wants to start a business, it's important you have a proper plan on what you are going into, especially for the young farmers. With the increased costs of the diesel price, the cost of production, the cost of feed, it's important you know this before you start the business. So you don't start and get stuck as you proceed. Welcome back. Now, once you stock the fish in the pond, the juveniles, the juveniles are expected to take the two mm size of feed. Now, the feed comes in different sizes. We have the one mm, we have the 1.2 mm, we have the 1.5 mm, we have the two mm. But for the juveniles, they take the two mm. So once you buy a standard juvenile from a farm, you are expected to start giving them the two mm feed size. So, the 2 mm feed size will be needing 3 bags of the 2 mm for the juvenile. So, after you're done, that will last around 2, two weeks or thereabouts when you are doing your stocking. Then we'll proceed to the 3 mm, which is the next size you would have to start giving to the fishes, and they will also take 5 bags. So, we have a total of 8 bags now 3 for 2 mm, 5 for the 3 mm. Then we proceed to the 4 mm size. The 4 mm size they will need 10 bags of the feed. Each of the bag is a 15 kg bag. So it's a 15 kg bag we are using. So 3 for 2 mm, for the 3 mm, 5 bags, for the 4 mm, 10 bags. Then when you get to the stage of the 6 mm, as they grow, they eat more. So for the 6 mm, they will be taking 18 bags of the 6 mm. This is now for the to raise 1,000 juveniles to table size. Then after you are done with the 6 mm size, you proceed into the 9 mm, which is the final size you give them until the time of harvest. So at that stage, they will need 29 bags of feed for the 9 mm. That's the stage they eat more. You have to be feeding them, they eat, they, they consume more at that stage. So as you, they, they proceed, they eat smaller and it keeps on going at that stage. Now if you look at the total feed you have used, 8 bags for the 3 and the uh, 2 mm, the 4 mm, 10 bags, which is 18 bags. Then for the 6 mm, it's 20 bags. So we have a total of 38 bags. Then if you include the 29 bags for the 9 mm, that is 67 bags. So to take your juvenile from the stage you stock them to the grow stage, which is the table size, you need 67 bags of the 15 kg feed. Now, at the end of the cycle, you fed them a total of 1,005 kg of feed. Now, that will not be the conversion. So when we talk about the feed conversion, it means that since we're giving them 1,005 kg of feed, they have to convert to body weight, since it's the weight you sell when you want to do the harvest. So, now, different feeds have their different conversion ratio. Some feed gives you almost 1 is to 1. But hardly you can get a perfect feed that will give you, you give them 1 kg and they produce 1 kg of body weight. It doesn't happen that way. You can get 1 kg of feed to give you 0 point or 900 grams of body weight. 1 kg can give you 800 grams of body weight, 850, depending on the company you are using or the combinations of feed you are making use with. So they have different combinations. For the 2 mm, so better start with a foreign feed like the Ziegler, the Alaqua, the copens or the scratching they, they can repeat that for also for the 3 mm when they get to the 4 they can switch to blue crown which is also good for 6 mm blue crown then when they get to the 9 mm top feed can also come in blue crown can also serve or they can go out for other locally produced feed too that have good conversion ratio so before you sell you have to look at okay, what am i what am i getting back from the feed the weights from the fishes if you use a feed that has around 
one kg give you a 900 body weight you are getting close to 945 kg if it's 800 you're getting around 800 and something kg so you look at the current market price or what they are selling your times the price the current price with the number of the weights you've obtained you know how much you are selling it out you compare it to the amount of you spent in buying the feed so you must keep a proper record for you to be able to know this at the point of harvest you record all the feeds you've been buying as you're buying them you keep the record as you're feeding them you also keep the record at the end point you have to know the kg you are getting back is the feed conversion ratio to so know how many body weight these cities have been able to give you at the point of sale so once you have done with this all this calculation it gives you a better understanding of how much you are selling the feed even before you embark on the whole process you already know how much you spent how much you are expecting to get back from the business so every new bee that want to start the business anyone that want to go into cartridge business this is a much to watch video for you to give you an understanding before you start a business so that you know what you are getting into and what is the expected return of investment after you have vested. So thank you. Do well to hit on the subscribe button. You can like and you can share our videos.